<laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. Guys, obviously I am on message. I am on message. Those of you that are my spotters, you know how this thing goes when I'm on message. Everything has to be sharp, 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 so that I don't get so that I don't get distracted with shiny things. They know how this thing goes. And so that I don't start getting distracted with shiny things. Shiny things that would actually not even benefit me in the long run. Hmm? God, he has been... Obviously, God is always working on us, working on our habits. Sorry, guys, if it looks like I'm a bit fidgety. I just want to... I just want you guys to actually see more... I've got to go wash my hands. You know, this is how... Those of you that are my spotters know. Anytime I'm on message, it's like... Mm -mm 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 -mm. High energy, high energy, movement, movement, movement. Let me wash my hands quickly, guys. You know? Mm? Everything that happens, everything that happens, it happens for a reason. Mm? Guys, actually, so that I can calm down, so that I can actually calm down and deliver the message properly to you guys, because my energy seems a bit, you know, frenetic at the moment, let me actually do my face, cleanse my face, and then we'll get into the message, yeah? So that so that the message is not chaotic. Let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. You guys are used to me. Yeah? You know I can do three in one videos. You know I can do two in one videos. I can do four in one. I can do five in one. Five in one is quadruple, I think. Anyway, guys. So, because... Because I'm on the mountain and because I get these fire, fire messages all the time, I've decided to just take, you know, more care of my face, cleanse my face so that if I just have to come to video, you know, if I have to come to video, sharp, sharp, sharp to do a video, I actually look, you know, presentable. Okay, guys. I got my, I got my MJ t-shirt on. I've had this for years because I love me some MJ. I've got my MJ t-shirt on and I've got my my thermal, my thermal, I don't know what you call them. They're not pyjamas, they're not leggings. You wear them under your jeans when it's cold. These ones were from my mum. So I always wear this because she gave them to me. Anyway, guys, if you're wondering what this video is about today, it is going to be a cleansing video i'm gonna cleanse my face with i'm gonna cleanse my face with eggs and i'm gonna do it obviously for you guys to see and then i'm gonna just get into the message okay are you spices you okay you doing good i'm sure you are fine i am sure you're fine now where did i keep that stuff okay here it is yeah, yeah i've seen the contents of my fridge and well Anyway, guys, this is the egg white. This is the egg white. And this is the egg yolk. So, as you can see, some of the some of the yolk got into the white. But it, it really doesn't matter because it's all protein to my mind. I used to do this when I was younger every now and again. But, you know, when things are too fiddly, they put me off. If you are my spotter, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. Once things are too fiddly, I'm like, what? I ain't got time to be doing all this kind of fiddly, fiddly. You do. Guys, no need for too much explanation because my spotters, they know me so well. They know me so well. If you want me to engage with you, uh, you want me to engage with you, you want me to do stuff with you. If it's coming across as... If it's coming across as I've got to work too hard, <laughs> you have already put me off because that's just the kind of person I am. Somebody that doesn't make music anymore even wrote a song about it. <laughs> Those of you that know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, my lovelies, I have to relax my spirits. I have to relax myself. I have to. I have to relax myself before I actually get into the the meat and bones and the nitty gritty of this video. Okay. So let's just calm down and do the face. After I've done the face, I can put my glasses on. So guys, it's protein from eggs. 
it's protein from eggs use it to soften your skin use it to brighten your skin use it to get rid of blemishes i want to work on my neck because when i do the video i don't want it to look as if i've got a beard <laughs> okay muchachos when i do the video when i have to come and do the sharp sharp video i don't want it to look as if because you guys you know me now when i have to do the video i won't even think i won't even think that i look like whatever it is i look like <laughs> only heaven knows i wouldn't even care i'll just come and i'll be doing the video and they'll be like mm. guys you know certain generation you have to you have to impress them but me i'm not an impressing kind of person anyway my sweeties so this is the one that I did. Anything that I put on my face that is natural, I like to cool it in the fridge, first of all. You know, I like it to cool in the fridge. You know, just for it to be cool. Does it make sense? Mm. Guys, if it's not making sense to you, please, interact in the comment section. Interact in the comment section. If what I'm saying is not making sense to you, interact in comments and then... I can either engage with you, I'll only go live when I get the numbers, I've said this before, I'll only go live, proper going live, as in me pressing my button on my YouTube saying this is a live session, I will only do that when I get the numbers, but my lives, when I say I'm actually going to go live, they're gonna, it's going to be very, very exciting. So guys, you got your egg yolk, you can use either, you can use either, you can use it as a mask so you can just put it on and then go about your business you could also use it to cleanse i am actually going to use it to cleanse i haven't washed my face that's why i said they're very they're different ways of doing it they're different methods of doing it and guys this is egg egg from poultry hmm? i would have i would have wanted to use uh, the free range one but I didn't see the free range one because I just went to one of the um, one of the local businesses. They didn't have free range. I normally prefer to buy free range just because it's not battery eggs. But that is a video for another day. I love it because I have just created a continuity content. If you're somebody who is new in the game, it's easy to do. If you're the kind of person who struggles for content, you can just do continuity. So you do a video like this and you tell the people that you will come back with more information for them. See? So that way you stack up your content. You've got some continuity. So now let us do the cleansing. Huh? So then we can get into the message. Egg yolk. Egg white, actually. Egg white. Egg yolk. Try either one. Try either one. See the one that works for you. Try either one. See the one that works for you. So, I believe you know how to break eggs. I'm sure you don't. You don't want me to come onto YouTube and start breaking egg, do you? Do you? I don't think you do. So, I take my cotton wool because I'm using it to cleanse. Let me come closer. Closer to me, my Lord, closer to me, closer to me, my Lord, closer to me. Actually, I don't want to be double dipping because I'm still using it and I'm going to use it another day. This is what I said yesterday. I wasn't going to double dip and I'm still this. So... If you're like me, if you're, if you're, oh, I'm so bougie, I'm so super clean. If you don't want to double dip either, you get yourself another container. And then you just take your cotton bud. And obviously you give your problem area. I mean, I don't really like negative words, so I don't really want to think that anything on my body is a problem area. Because I am a child of God. And... <laughs> He took his time to make me on a good day. <laughs> so, guys, you see that? Look at that. And I actually cleansed my face. How many times did I cleanse my face yesterday? I think two times. Maybe three times. So, then you get your fresh cotton bud again. And you start again. Where you've got your spots. So, guys, this is real life, people. 
this is happening so that you know you guys are actually gonna see so as i'm doing the videos you will actually see the progression and you'll actually see how the skin is improving guys can you see that i believe it looks better already can you see that for those who didn't see and that's that's the cotton bud you see that i'll do another one i'll do another one for the people at the back who didn't see it guys how are you guys doing my spotters, those of you that love me, those of you that you used to wait for me to do a video, how are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? Tell me, how are you doing today? Me, as you can see, I am happy. I'm flying high today. I'm flying high today, on a natural high today, even though I have had something, but it's in more of a natural high. See that? It really does give you a deep cleanse. Hmm? It really, guys, it really works. It really does give you a good cleanse. The only thing about all of these things is they take time and sometimes I find them a bit fidgety. That's why sometimes I don't do them, but I know that it works. So I got my fresh cotton wool. Guys, don't double dip because if you double dip and remember, remember it's protein as well. It's egg yolk. So don't double dip. You know, just take your fresh cotton bud, dip it in that, and you go like that. You can get eggs for 50p, guys. 50p, you can get eggs. And I, guys, I believe that you can actually see the difference right, right before you. Hmm? But you can see it in your very before. Hmm? Like uh, Chief, Chief Zebi said, Chief Zebudaya, if you know Chief Zebudaya, drop a comment in the comment section if you know who Chief Zebudaya is. Chief Zebudaya, with his wife, Ovleria. Ovleria, Ovleria, Ovleria. Under my eyes as well, because the stress, the stress of life has been giving me bags under my eyes guys i love it when i do these videos because you guys can actually see everything is happening in your very before guys can you see it okay i'll do it again i'll do it again see that hmm? can you see Let me do it again. I did see. I'm feeling better already. I'm feeling better already. Let me do it again so that you guys can see. So fresh. Don't double dip. Don't double dip, especially if you want to use it again. Don't double dip. Just for the sake of hygiene. Don't double dip, so that your face can keep on looking beautiful. Who? We're getting rid of those under eye dark patches. Oh my goodness! Who's this beauty? <laughs> hey, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Get my numbers up to 500. Get my numbers up to 500. If not for the fact that we have so much big eye, we don't actually have to buy anything in the shop, you know. God has provided us with everything. Mm. Mm. I'm talking about I'm talking about nature's garden. I'm talking about nature's garden. I'm talking about nature's garden because uh, the whole idea of chickens and egg it needs revisiting. What was I watching the other day when they were saying that somebody was talking about the history of chickens? It's very, very interesting, guys. Actually, if you're somebody who loves chicken like me, uh, you can you can Google it. 
but today let me just concentrate on what I'm, I'm doing so that this video is not all over the place so that's the cotton wool and that's egg i believe i believe that you can see what i'm seeing this is the reason why i normally do these guys in your very before in front of you guys so that you guys can see because it's egg obviously i prefer to do it you know before i have my wash Guys, can you see it? I believe that I look 20 years younger already. Guys, can you see what is happening before you? Guys, if you like this kind of thing, guys, one of my USPs, I think I have more than one USP, but one of my USPs is that whatever information I'm giving to you, whatever information I am delivering to you, I will give it to you in a way that is very, very, I did my nails myself, that is very, very easy, very, very easy, and very, very simple, yeah? Very, very easy, and very, very simple for you guys to follow, yeah? See that? For those of you like me who have aging, no, I'm not going to say that my age is... I'm not going to say that my skin is aging so that my skin does not hear me and start to age. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to say that. But anyway, ladies, you know what time it is. If you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're seeing on this video and you want to try it, you can try it. Ladies, another thing about us ladies that is that some... Oh, I double dipped. I double dipped. Mm. Another thing about us ladies is that sometimes... Any small thing that is working for us, any small thing that is happening with us, we feel as if we have to share it with people. Mm? Because some of us have got so much open heart, we just feel as if, oh, this thing happened to me, this thing is working for me, this thing is good with me, let me go and share it with my friends. Guys, I learned the hard way. I learned the hard way, guys. Hmm? My elbows, have, my elbows have always been like this. Always been like this. So guys, learn how to keep things to yourself. Eh? You have your friend. You say she's your sister. You love and pass rice and beans. <laughs> my guy. Learn how to keep things to yourself. Eh? It's not everything that you have to share with your friend. You know, you meet a guy, gorgeous guy. You know, so we're getting into message now. You meet a guy, you know, gorgeous guy. You think to yourself, oh my God, you know, I really love this guy. The next thing you have called your friend. Huh? Chatterbox, chatterbox, big mouth. Huh? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cursing anybody. I'm not telling anybody off. We're just, I'm just telling you how the thing go. Let me see what glasses am I going to wear today? This one. What do you think, guys? Stick with this one. Let me see. I always have my glasses on. Yeah. This one. We'll save this one for the next video. Uh -huh. As I was saying. So, you know how this thing goes now? You you, you think, ah, she's my friend. No, she's my friend. She's my friend. I love and pass Gary and whatever. She's my friend. She's my friend. You meet a new guy. Eh? You don't even know what the guy's intention is. You don't even know if the guy has a wife and children in Dubai. You have already called your friend. You're telling your friend, I met this guy. He's this. He's that. He's that. If the guy made you... Guys, I'm inserting myself in this conversation because I used to be like that. I used to be like that because I'm thinking, yeah, it's my girl. It's my friend. Guys... I am inserting myself in the conversation. So don't think that I'm saying other people. I'm inserting myself in the conversation because I used to be like that. Like, ah, you know, oh my God. you will tell her everything. You will talk even beyond your mouth. You will talk beyond your mouth. Girl, learn how to keep things to yourself. Mm? 
you will go and gist with your friend. You will tell your friend how the guy made you reach 1,000 orgasm. You don't know. Maybe in her mind, uh, everything that you're telling her, she's coding it, she's coding it, she's coding it. Because she's thinking, mm, I might have some of that for myself. Uh, it happens. Mm? It happens. A male friend. So... What, what a family member it happens as well ladies not only ladies guys as well some of you guys you meet a girl you say ah my guy this is my speckle this is my speck this is the kind of babe that gingers me this is the kind of babe that i have been waiting for all my life but instead of you to keep it to yourself yeah, you call all your guys, you go to the sport, you'll be telling them about the girl, you tell them where your girl works, you tell them what your girl likes. Eh? Before you know it, when you're sitting with your babe, she 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 she's texting on the left hand. Hmm? She's texting on the left hand. She's texting on the left hand. Hmm? You don't know why she's texting on the left hand. Hmm? Your guy has already dropped his uh, his codex with the girl guys let us learn how to keep things to ourselves i pray that the father gives us the spirit of discernment guys there's a reason why i am like this the way that i am because i'm saying to myself god jehovah please help me to live coded life hmm? yeah. even if i'm living my life in the public preview yeah. even if i'm living my life in the public Teach me how to keep my things coded eh? so that the thing that I love about my guy is not the thing that another person will come and collect from me eh? because, I, because I opened up about him to them. Guys, pray to God. Let God give us wisdom. Mm? Wisdom is better than money. Wisdom is better than money. Guys, wisdom is better than money. Why? Because you will have the wisdom, you will have the knowledge, you will have the intelligence of how to, of how to manage the wealth that God gives to you. God will make you rich. He will. He will make you rich. Ask him for whatever you want. He will give it to you. Yeah? He will not give it to you the way that you asked him, but he will give it to you in a way that enriches your life. Pray for God to enrich you. Pray for God to enlarge your territory. Pray to God to give you divine spouse. Eh? Divine spouse. Eh? Don't marry somebody for six pack. Eh? Don't marry somebody for six pack. If you marry somebody for six pack, what if he's the kind of person who is not consistent? As in 20 years later, you're not seeing six pack again. Hmm? I know that I'm speaking to people. I know that I'm speaking to people. Eh? You marry for six pack. He no longer has six pack. You don't find him attractive again. You don't find him. You don't fancy him. That's the word that we use here. And it's a great word. Because if you fancy somebody in your marriage, if you continue to fancy each other, the marriage is going to be exciting. But the moment you stop fancying somebody, hmm, they will say to you, please, can you make me a cup of tea? You'll be like. <laughs> you won't even answer. You won't even answer because you don't fancy them again. Hmm? Guys, please, let us look to God for wisdom. Anything that I tell you guys, I put myself as an example. Yeah. Anything that I'm telling you guys, I have to put myself an example because I know that they will call me out. They will say, you, what are you doing now? You are telling us this, you are telling us, what about you? That is why I'm saying to you, mm. when, it comes to, when it comes to relationship, mm, the one you love, the type of person you want to love, the one you have seen that you love, please. Yes, of course, at some stage, you are going to speak to your friends, your family about the person. But learn how to keep important things to yourself. You don't have to give all of yourself to people. You don't have to tell, you don't have to tell them everything about your guy. Do you know what? 
ask yourself this question why do they have to know everything about your guy why guys follow the questions if you ask the right questions, you'll get the right answers. You guys, you see me when I go on to Google to research things, when I go on Google to look for things, when I go on Google to do my research or search for answers. You have to ask the right questions. If you don't ask the right questions, you won't get the right answers. Many, many years ago, I said, whatever it is you want to do in life, whatever it is that you want, especially if you're somebody who wants to live your life intentional, get, you, get your, your notebook. Hmm? I'm never going to stop saying it. Get your notebook. Get your notebook. Get your pen. Yeah? Invest in the kind of notebooks that you like. Invest in notebooks like me. I like things that are cute and pretty because when I see them, you know, it spurs me on to action because I'll be like, hmm, that's nice. Get yourself a pretty notebook. I'm actually going to go and buy some more notebooks. I'm creating more continuity content. So I'm going to go and buy some more pretty notebooks, pretty pens, and I'll do another video. And I'm actually going to take my time to link to the first video that I did about intentional living and writing things down guys um, almost all of the things almost all of the things i have written down that have come to pass do actually came to this house he came but i didn't see him but he actually came i said that he would come and he came i didn't see him but he did come so if i didn't see him it means that obviously both of us we weren't meant to see each other because God, it's not God's time for us to meet. But if it's ever God's time for us to meet, we will meet. But if God decides he doesn't actually want us to meet, if he decides he was just using this for his purpose, to teach people whatever lesson he was teaching, that's the way it will be. But me, I am so relaxed. I am so relaxed on that issue because sometimes I can look at him and I can see clearly that he's not ready. It is clearly apparent. So in that kind of situation, you know, you rest, you relax. Because me, myself, I have so much of my own work that I have to do. So, and God, God is my number one. Everybody knows God is my number one. I put him first before anything else. God is my number one. And that is the way that my ministry will grow, by putting him number one. Uh, he is the creator of the universe. He has to take first position. He takes position. He takes priority over everything. So that is the way it is. So guys, intentional living, uh, intentional living, keeping things to yourself, taking care of yourself, uh, intentional living, intentional living, taking care of yourself, keeping things to yourself, keeping things to yourself, learning discernment, natural skin beauty if i have covered more than five topics in this video please let me know because i don't have a production assistant it's just me so i don't have anybody saying to me you know on cue you've already spoken about that or you haven't spoken about this but guys it is getting better every single day it's getting better every single day and at some point, I will have somebody assisting me. I know it. I know. It. I can actually feel it in my heart. God is working today. Well, he's always working anyway. He's always working. Guys, God is truly amazing. God is truly amazing, guys. Stop paying people to pray for you, my darling. Please. Oh, my God. Stop. Please, 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 please. Mm. No matter how tough life is, if you're somebody who is in ministry, you know that you can pray for God's favor and God will increase you. Yeah? Pray for God's favor, for God to increase you in a way that is righteous with God so that you, so that you keep in right standing with God. I think that's the sixth point now of this video. Yeah? Pray for God to bless you so that you can stay and keep in right standing with God rather than charging people to pray for them mm? at the very least 
at the very least at the very least at the very least please go and check your scripture yeah go and check your scripture at the very least you could you could actually just wait for them to you know offer you something so you pray for them and whatever it is they so let me give you an example say somebody wanted the fruit of the womb somebody like me somebody like me first of all i will light it <laughs> Say you want fruit of the room. Guys, I'm giving you an example in real time of how I would go about this kind of thing. So, say you want the fruit of the womb, yeah? Somebody like me, I will, first of all, I will light it. I will light it in my book. I will say something like, Dear Abba Father, I would like to have... I will describe everything. I will describe everything. I will describe the kind of child I want. The way I want the child to be born, if I want a water birth, if I want to just have birth at home, if I want the birth to be effortless. Guys, remember Angie Lamar? Remember, remember the skit that Angie, Angie Lamar said? Angie, Angie Lamar says, black women is fertile, you know? Mm? Guys, if you're of my generation, you should remember that clip. I think it was uh, live at the Hammersmith uh, Apollo. Angie Lamar was like, guys... Black women is fertile, you know. Someone like me, me as a big girl. When the doctor says, you ready? Me go on like this, me drop it out. <laughs> Guys, or something along those lines. Basically, she was saying that she's a big girl. That anytime, when, anytime she's pregnant, when the doctor says, mm, the baby's coming, she's like, yeah, doc, when do you want it? And she just opens her leg and it falls out. Mm, please. Let me stop before the before he will say that I'm being lewd. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me stop before he will say that I'm being lewd. Hmm? So guys, pray, 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 pray. Right, 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 right. Like I said, someone like me, I would describe. Yeah. So if I wanted a child, if I wanted a child, this is what I would do. I would take my book. I would take my book. I would start to write. Uh, uh, Abba Father. Uh, creator of the heaven, I will go and look for the scripture that is related to it. I will write everything because that's how I learned it. That's how I learned it from Napoleon Hill. He said, whatever it is you're asking for, ask for it in great detail. It's even in the Bible as well. So when you're asking, be specific. You know all, you know the early professional development teachers and motivators. You know that they derive their content from the Bible. You know that, right? like Napoleon Hill. If you check the Bible and you check Napoleon Hill, you can see that all of his teaching is derived from scripture. He just changed the words around, you know, like going the extra mile. Guys, do your due diligence so that you don't just say, and said this and and said that. That's why sometimes I'll give you a little bit and then I let you and you go and discover the truth for yourself. You know, for those of them that say she don't know what she's talking about. Guys, ask for what you want in great detail. Okay, I want a baby. I want my baby to be this complexion. I want my baby to do this. I want my baby to have this character. Write everything. It does not concern anybody. If you're worried about people's intrusion, if you're worried about people, what people are going to think, find your safe space. Find your quiet place when you're happy, when you're relaxed. Bring out your book. Even if you wanted to write a whole volume, even if you wanted to write a whole volume, I know that you are writing something positive. So you are being intentional. You are being intentional. You know, you are being intentional. You are asking God for what you want. You are being specific about what you want. You are telling him how you are going to thank him when you get what you want. Write it down. Guys, at the very least, do it for history's sake. Keep a record. Keep a record so that when that thing that you ask for arrives, you can actually say, yes. You can actually say, yeah, that God did it for you. That God did it for you. That you're living intentionally and you actually manifest the things that you want into your life. Guys, I didn't come here to play. I didn't come here to play. I didn't come here to play. So... Guys, I believe that I covered six points in this video. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I didn't cover up to six points, 
you can say so in the comment section so I can actually come back, do a review. If there are topics that I spoke about in this video that you want me to speak more about, same thing, drop a comment in the comment section. Guys, I have made a promise to follow my God. I have also made a promise that if I'm giving you, of course I do, of course I mess around. Of course I mess around, I have fun, I'm a human being I'm somebody who likes to have fun You guys, you know me now I love to have fun With everything that I'm doing, I love to have fun So, you know, obviously I'm going to have a little fun in the video Guys, if there's any part of this video that you want me to revisit Let me know, I am your girl, I am happy to do so If you're somebody who wants to help me you know how to help me already because you have all the details. Yeah. So. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Guys, stop worrying about my relationship. I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stop worrying about my relationship. Focus on your relationship. I'm going to say it again. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died on the cross of Calvary for our sins. He died for our sins so that even if they be scarlet, they should be as white as snow. So please, guys, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth has washed me clean of sin regardless of what anybody thinks so please focus on your relationships focus on your marriage focus on all the relationships that you have in your lives hmm? allow me allow me allow me to follow my god hmm? don't worry about my relationship concentrate on your relationship that is the relationship that you should be most worried about. See, I've gone into a seventh point. Uh, how long am I going to be? Uh, 37 minutes. Uh, I, have, I have to stop this because otherwise I'll be here all day loading video. And I don't want to do that. I actually want to try and learn some more stuff, do some more coaching, etc., etc. Guys, I'm going to say it for the third time. I know I'm saying this because I know that it will stick. It will definitely stick. It will definitely stick with some people. It will definitely resonate with some people. The most important relationship that you have to worry about is actually your relationship with God. <laughs> the second is the relationship with your partner. It's true. The most important relationship... I've gone into the eighth point. The most important relationship that you have to worry about is your relationship with God, your creator. Because once you've found favor with him, you will find favor everywhere. The second relationship that you should concentrate on the most is the relationship with yourself. <laughs> and the third is the one with your spouse. Guys, it is what it is. So go and do your research. Do your research. Buck up on your knowledge. Buck up on your knowledge so that you won't say, Oh, she came and she lied to us. Buck up on your knowledge. Buck up on your knowledge so that, you know, you can stand in facts. Yeah? Mm. With this scarf, I prefer these with glasses. Buck up on your knowledge. Mm? Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is more powerful than money. Some people have money, but they don't know how to use it. Some people do have a lot of money, but they don't actually know how to use it. Eh? They find themselves in a position where they're always, where they're always killing themselves to accumulate more, to buy more things that they don't need. So the cycle continues. God wants to break that cycle. God wants to break that cycle. He wants generational wealth, eh? kingdom wealth, divine. Oh, I'm going into the ninth point. <laughs> Anyway, as the spirit moves, as the spirit moves, if there are any of these topics that you guys would like me to revisit, you can let me know. Increase the numbers, like I said. 
if the numbers increase, I'm happy to come here to talk to you guys about anything that you want me to talk about. That is the confidence I have in my God because I know that the Spirit will lead me regardless of what it is you want me to talk about. I know that the Spirit will lead me because that knowledge is here somewhere. Mm? 52 years old. <laughs> mm? the, the, amount of, the amount of useless knowledge I have picked up along the way. Mm? I have also picked up some very, very useful knowledge as well. So I'm going to use the useful knowledge to counter the useless knowledge. Do you hear me? Guys, I love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please get... Is this is today the end of the month? I don't know. Anyway, I wanted... I want 500 subscribers before the end of this month. I don't know if today is the end of the month. But yeah, guys, please get my numbers up. Get my numbers up. When we get to a 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give you guys something so sweet. Something so, so sweet that is actually going to change your life. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. God can never fail you. Never. He will never ever fail you. Put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. He's not boring. He's not boring. All that, all those things that they say about mm, being born again is boring. Being a Christian is boring. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not gonna... The moment you decide that you want to follow God with all of your heart, you will be amazed. You will be amazed. You will be amazed at how God will ginger you. You yourself, you yourself, you wouldn't even want, you wouldn't even, People will be inviting you to all kinds of places. You wouldn't even want to go. You're just going to want to be with your God. Because the thing about starting a journey with God is that the more you know him, the more you want to get to know him. Because he is truly, truly, truly amazing. Guys, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.